What's going on? We back with the boxing clan and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow, grinding. Um, and shout out to the Cali Enigma. You know, go subscribe. Trap House Boxing, subscribe. We in the building. And um, it seems like Terrence Crawford and Jeff Horn both agree to you horse hair gloves. Remember those ever? I think it was that Everlast uh, MX or whatever they was that Marcus Madonna right there on the left of the screen was trying to fight versus Floyd Mayweather. And Mayweather paid him not to uh, use those horsehair gloves. Um, you know, that's what they're going to be using. You know, you can see the difference. they both uh, eight-ounce gloves. But the, 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 the horsehair is very, very different from the foam. You see the foam, it's much thicker. Look at the horsehair. It's, uh, the weight looks like it's distributed different. Um, it looks a lot thinner. And it's a puncher's glove. You know, that's exactly what, that, what those are. They're puncher's gloves. And, um, you know, I was listening to Town Hall, Town, uh, Town Biz. Uh, he was saying that, you know, I didn't know this about how in a horsehair gloves, a lot of fighters don't like them because the thumb can be manipulated. So, um, you really can't see the thumb in this video, in this, uh, picture, but, um, but, you know, that's just showing Crawford don't give a fuck. Crawford a dog. He's showing you, dog. He gonna make the degree of difficulty versus Jeff Horn, you know, higher. He gonna give Jeff Horn an opportunity with those Everlast, uh, well, like I said Everlast, but the horse hair, uh, you know, gloves. And one of the reasons Mayweather didn't want him, Madonna, to fight the horse hair gloves, because obviously he got a lot of power, but, you know, he couldn't match that, you know, because he's at a disadvantage with the foam gloves, because he, you know, people are like, oh, why, you know, the average person like, why you can't wear horse hair? He better broke his fucking hand in them gloves. You know, Floyd need the extra protection with them badass hands, if people was wondering, you know, other than, you know, why it was so important for, why Floyd just didn't switch over to horse hair. But um, both of these guys don't have no hand injuries, but by the end of the fight, they might. You know, I'm just showing that, you know, Horn and Crawford is going to be an excellent fight. And the chances for a knockout just increase. I know people on my page were saying, well, when, when Crawford fought Postal, he moved a lot. You know, I, and he dropped him twice, but I think Crawford at some point in this fight, if not the majority of this fight, is going to be a, a, a lot offense, a lot of a lot offensive. He gonna be, you know, he gonna be offensive with Jeff Horn. He gonna try to break Jeff Horn's face, dog. And Jeff Horn, I guess he, gonna, I mean, he not guess. I know he gonna try to do 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 the same, but that just shows you what type of guy Crawford is. You know, he didn't have to agree to this shit. He could have just ignored it and just went about his day. You know, said fuck that man. You know, but he said, you know what, motherfucker, I'm gonna put the motherfuckers on too, and I'm gonna show you. You know, he mad at, at Jeff Horn. I, I don't expect to see a lot of movement from Terrence Crawford unless he gets in some trouble. You know, this this is a game changer, man. He putting these, these horse hair gloves on. He going to knock this motherfucker out. You know, I think he going to have, like I said, I think he going to have some trials and tribulations. Some versus Jeff Horn, but with these on, he he, he might knock Jeff Horn out. I mean, I ain't no mic. I thought he going to knock him out in the beginning. It might be a short night, a shorter night than I, I, I predicted. Well, I'm predicting right now. Uh, preliminary thoughts. But um, I just showed you that Crawford, I mean, if you had any questions about the Crawford's, you know, a bit uh Willingness to fight anybody or or is he a prima donna? I mean, that nigga don't care, man. He show up, tell him what to wear, you know, tell him where to fight at. And I just seen it off camera. When he was in street clothes and, you know, you know, niggas at the gym was talking shit. He was just there to just chill. And he came out the street clothes. Well, he didn't, you know, put the gloves on and whoop some motherfucker's ass. And he's a different breed in my ha ha Davis voice. He's a different breed, dog. You know, him him and potentially any of the world's weights. I, he gonna want. I don't need to see him at some forty one forty. He gonna want to run through some some of them guys. I'm gonna lie, most of them. But him and Earl Spence is like minded man. And I know it's a tough fight for people to want to see. They like both. Um, but it's something that gotta happen for the for the culture of boxing. You know. But if you didn't know, this fight is June ninth, MGM Grand Arena, Las Vegas. MGM Grand Garden. That's the old house that Floyd Mayweather built, not the T-Mobile Arena. Um, and it's on the ESPN Plus app. So, um, you know, if you go to regular ESPN app, uh, I know my TV, I, I scroll over and I can get the ESPN Plus app. I think I have a special right now on it. Uh, for me, I'll check out the special, see how long it's going to be going on. If I could just hold on and get the Crawford fight for free. If not, it's only $5. So, I'm, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to do it for Crawford. I'm going to get that ESPN Plus hot for Crawford. And, um, you know, I'm going to get it for Horn because I think Horn puts it all on the line as well, too. Horn comes with a fan friendly style. It's dirty, it's grimy. He's a go getter. I've never seen him, you know, fall back in anything. You know, somebody was saying he beat up a whole bunch of old fighters. Well, old fighters still got experience. 
And it seems like that's Randy, the Randall Bailey, the Ali Funker fight, something like that. Manny Pacquiao, it gave him a sense of uh, of belief. It gave him a sense of, uh, you know, confidence. And he got better from that. I mean, you could say, oh, you fought an old fighter. It don't matter. All these guys fight old fighters. They still in the game. They're not an easy out. You get experience from it, and you get a lot of game from it. You get better from it. And Jeff Warren got better from it. But these horsehair gloves is definitely a, a game changer, man. Definitely a game changer. And, um, you know, it's just going to add some more pizzazz and some more flamboyancy to the fight. And I'm telling you, it's going to be an excellent fight, man. They should do better, more promotion on this fight. But the fighters are promoting themselves on social media, going back and forth and to the boxing uh, scene and, and these different interviews they're doing. It's good trash talk. I think it should have more publicity and more pushing from top rank behind it. But that's a whole other story. CBC and more. Peace.